Uh, this is Take Six, and I'm going to be telling you about my story coming up for this afternoon. So downtown Orlando, we're hitting the road to 32801. That is the heart of downtown Orlando, where fireworks at the fountain will be happening, obviously, on the 4th of July. And as we approach that day, we're dedicating a lot of our coverage, as we've been doing uh, over the course of the last several months, on that zip code. And I was curious how businesses are doing. I know it's a tough economic climate right now. Um, inflation is where it is. People are struggling to, to go out to eat. And I was curious how businesses, restaurants specifically in downtown Orlando are doing right now. And I, and I called a bunch of places I, and some are doing okay. Others are not doing so great. And I, and I interviewed the owner of Nifty's, which is in the Chase building. Uh, right really in the heart of downtown Orlando along Orange Avenue, and their business is down 50%. They've had to adjust hours. Um, it's just not, the foot traffic is not there for downtown Orlando. We had Hamburger Mary's leave not that long ago, citing a similar thing, how business has just changed. There's not enough people walking around. It's hard to find parking. There are a number of other reasons that the owner of this restaurant told me are preventing people from wanting to go to downtown Orlando. And whether that's the violence, whether that is the homeless population increasing, there are a number of reasons that sort of outweigh somebody's reason to go downtown. And she is kind of just in a moment where she doesn't know what the future looks like. It's, it's murky. They've adjusted their hours. And they just don't know what the future looks like in downtown Orlando. And you see the awards that Nifty's received. It's not the food. They, it's, a, it's owned by a, a couple, a Korean couple who immigrated here. And it's just those two. Those are the only employees. So it's tough. Um, and I, you, know, you talk to the city about this and they say, well, parking is available. We've brought on a number of initiatives to address the parking situation and it's just, it's not working. Um, and, but the city is really trying to make downtown more of a neighborhood. It's been on their radar. They call it DTO 2.0. It's the next phase of what downtown Orlando will be. And as they look towards the future, they want to make it more of a residential. And if you've been to downtown Orlando and you've been to the surrounding uh, suburbs, the little neighborhoods uh, around downtown, whether that's Mills 50, whether that's Ivanhoe Village, the Milk District, all those little neighborhoods have so much success right now, and a lot of people want to go to those neighborhoods for an afternoon or to do some shopping. And it doesn't, there's not a lot of diversity in what downtown offers, is what the businesses have been telling me and what people have been telling me as well. And so, those, as those surrounding neighborhoods thrive, which are so close to downtown, it's sort of having an effect on that as well. So, that's what my story will be on today. It's going to be airing at 530 uh, on News 6. Hope you can join us. Um, we'll get into more of the nitty gritty and, and the response from the city as well as as they try to help out and bring on new businesses. And they have. They have an incentive program to incentivize some businesses to open, especially along Church Street is where they're really focused right now. Because if you go down to Church Street, it's pretty dead. There's not a lot happening. And Hamburger Mary's leaving, and it, it's tough. And so they've been trying to incentivize some businesses to open up, and and they're helping them do that. So that it's going to take time, but you'll have more of the the city's response coming up this afternoon. I think I'm going to do the weather too. There, let's do some weather. All right, there you go. Ah, uh, looks like summer, doesn't it, folks? I'm just focused on Thursday, the fourth of July. Fifty percent shot of rain, hot. So if you're going to come out to Lake Eola Park, join us for uh, fireworks at the fountain and to meet everyone. We're all going to be out there. Just um, obviously bring some water and maybe pack an umbrella or two. And I'm also peeping that Sunday. Wow, 98, 20% shot of rain on Sunday. That looks like, a, that looks like the day to maybe spend outside in pro close proximity <laughs> to some water, a body of water of some sort. You're going to need it. But thanks for joining us on Take 6 today. I'm Justin Warmoth. We'll see you again back at 4 p.m. Take care.